everyone, my name's Nicole. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making a warm and comforting dish. We're making salmon and rice gratin. This is a great, easy meal to make on a busy weekday evening because it just has a few ingredients, has great flavor, and we're going to start off with our beautiful filet of salmon. This is one pound of salmon, and we are going to poach this, which means cook it in liquid. So I have a deep saute pan here. And this is a skinned filet of salmon. We're going to put it right in our pan. And then we're going to cover it with seafood stock. You can either make your own or they sell it where the broth is located in your grocery store. So you want approximately two to two and a half cups of seafood stock just to cover your salmon. And we're going to cook this um, to about on medium until it starts to simmer. Then we'll turn it down to slow cook it, slow poach it. It's going to be so flaky and delicious. Just cook it for about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. All right, so while that's cooking, we're going to saute some spinach. So I have just a little bit of olive oil in my saute pan, about a, a teaspoon. And so I have four cups of spinach here. I know that sounds like a lot, but once we saute it down, it's going to be a very small amount. And then we're going to chop it up and mix it into our gratin. So we're going to heat up our pan here and start sautéing our spinach just until it's wilted. It'll just take a minute, then we're going to pull that off the heat. The secret to this dish is going to be our Philadelphia cooking cream. I'm using the original flavor, and we are going to mix this in with some Dijon mustard and make a mustard-flavored cooking cream, and that's going to be our sauce on top of our gratin. How delicious does that sound? So I have some rice that I've already cooked before, and I'm using basmati rice which is going to have a great flavor to go with our salmon. And we're also using some hard-boiled eggs to go in there, too. So I've already cooked those, too. We're using two eggs for the one filet of salmon. All right, let's get started. All right, so our salmon finished cooking, and I have taken it out of the poaching liquid with um, a slotted spoon or a strainer, and I just flaked it. It flakes really easily with a fork. So I put that warm salmon in a bowl, and then over here I have my basmati rice. So it's all cooked down. It's about two cups of rice cooked. So we are going to mix our sauce right into our rice. So I have one full container, 10 ounces, of our cooking cream original flavor, and I've mixed in three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. So it's got a great flavor, great smell. We're going to mix this right into our rice. So all that delicious, creamy mustard sauce right in. Now we're going to add, I have four tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. We're going to put that right in. And mix this all together. That hot rice is just going to melt this sauce. It's going to be really creamy and delicious. All right, so that was quick and easy. So now I have one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now we're going to use half of this in the sauce and half on top. So about a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using triple cheddar right here from Kraft. Perfect. Now lastly, we're going to add our other three ingredients. Remember those four cups of um, spinach that I cooked? It cooked down to this, so not very much. So I've chopped up that spinach. If it has a little liquid in with it, just drain it, squeeze it out if you need to. Add that chopped spinach right to the bowl. Perfect. And we have hard-boiled eggs. So I have just roughly chopped my hard-boiled eggs. I have two. Those are going to go right in. Salmon and eggs go great together. And our Dijon mustard sauce. So gently stir that. You don't want to break up the eggs too much. And lastly, our beautiful, delicious poached salmon. So just pour that all in here. 
just gently mix this, then pour this right into our baking dish. So I have a glass baking dish right here, and my oven is turned on on the broiler. And all we're going to do is stir this up, put this in our baking dish, top it with the half a cup of cheese, put it in the broiler till it's brown and bubbly. Just a couple minutes, and then you're ready to serve. Wasn't that easy? Hot out of the oven, here is our delicious salmon and rice gratin. This is going to be a wonderful dinner. This looks delicious. My family's going to love this dinner, and you will too. My name's Nicole. I'll see you next time.